I'd like to jump straight into the reason I'm doing this video. It's um, an uncomfortable one for me to do, but it's been on the back of my mind for almost three weeks now. And I can't keep saying, I'm not going to say this. I'm going to say it. Gentlemen, can we speak candidly? Corona is hospitalizing more men than women. And I can only speak for my country. Corona is killing more of our men than our women. Do you remember about six days ago? Let me just remember which day that was because I actually looked up this article. On the 14th of July, on Tuesday, the Daily Nation did an article, and I think it was their lead story on the lives and stories of Kenyans we've lost to COVID-19. What is very important to note about the pictures that the Daily Nation carried, and it was not by, by design and not by default, it just, it is what it is. There were less women than men. COVID is taking our men, not because COVID is predisposed to a chromosome. This is not an XY issue. It's a mental predisposition and a behavioral predisposition. And because of the way you think and the way you act, Rona is coming after our men. Let me start with the obvious that we all know. There's no telling you what to do. Because the very idea that a virus could come after you all the man that you are is impossible until the virus does come for you. So that's number one. Number two, oh Lord, you hate water. You hate water. Somebody has to beg you to wash your hands. And this is pre-COVID. Oh, a shower? Oh, that's news. And half the women in Nairobi just went, ah, preach sister. I know the very idea that lazima woge, kwanza sasa kuna baridi. As far as you're concerned, no. But because you're predisposed mentally and habitually to, to shy away from hygiene, corona is coming for you. And in a big way. Here's the other thing. Nobody can make you eat anything that does not look like a cow or a goat. Miss Kulangi Matunda, yoni awatoto na wanawake. And yet, the very thing you need can be put on a plate. The vitamin C you seek can be put on a plate. Because this is how you are. From the moment we were told to up up our vitamin C, there isn't a woman who did not ensure her children were doing I don't know how many fruits a day. And she herself was in that thing. We have tried to put effervescent tablets for you to drink and you're like, Missy Kunyangi Zovitu. Ikwasi kaglen fulani, and it's above a teenager. That's how you talk. Like I said, it's a mental and behavioral issue that is taking you down. Okay? The other thing is, you see a doctor. You. It's like, apana takunyaka ka something. Tangao wa ikitu. That's how you talk. Because you can't even be told... Listen, you've been unwell for a full day, two days. Let's go to hospital right here, right now. Apanami said, hospital. Ah, don't take me to a hospital. I could die there. What happened to Papa? It's a mental and behavioral thing. It's a mental and behavioral thing. You can't be told to obey curfew. No, you must be sitting in some stupid place with 12 to 20 other stupid people at 1 a.m. and then giving cops attitude. Let's even not delabor the fact that you broke the law. Do you realize, do you realize that every time you step out the door, you carry the fate of every person you love in your hands? Why should your children grow up without a father? Why should your wife be widowed early? Why should your mother have to mourn you? Why should your father not be, bury you? Because you're too makmende to do the right thing. 
from world leaders, from the presidents of Brazil to God knows what else and next door in Burundi, Corona is taking our men. And this is me appealing to you, for heaven's sake, even if you don't care for a small virus, care about the lives that count on you. If you're a father, you do not belong to yourself. You belong to your children and your family. So every time you choose not to wash your hands, you choose not to sanitize, you choose not to wear your mask properly, not as a chin guard. Every time you choose to be around people for more than two to three hours and you don't wear your mask and you don't social distance, you put all their lives at risk, not just yours. Because when you're not there, everybody else has to start from zero. My fellow country men, please take this disease seriously. Wash your hands, sanitize, take your vitamin C. If your wife, your girlfriend gives you an effervescent tablet, take it. If you're given a plate of fruit, eat it. If you're feeling unwell, go to the hospital and wear a mask and keep it on. Because Corona is not predisposed to attacking the XY chromosome bearers. However, it is coming after your mental state and your behavior that is making you make the wrong decisions. This disease cannot be played with and it's taking our men. Please get serious. Please. Your girlfriend can't tell you. Your mom doesn't know where to start with you. Your wife doesn't need the drama. So I'm standing in the gap and saying, can you please get your flipping act together?